portal, like a tunnel through all these trees. And the sun was just like the window into the into the world of like full on bliss and light. All right guys, you know the deal. I do not condone the use of any drugs. This video is intended for harm reduction and educational purposes only. But that being said, if you are looking for a healthy legal alternative and want to get yourself some cool organic herbal blends and e-liquid vape juice, then check out bearblend.com and use the code word your mate Tom, all one word, at the checkout for a 10% discount. How good's that, mate? But anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the support. Enjoy the video. Fucking Spider Man! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Spider Man! You can, you can come for it here even, but like, don't come just yet. So, what I do here. Imagine doing this, this one's really hard. That's gonna snap. Alright, plan A again. But originally, the thing is, you're hesitating. When you hesitate, you're not gonna, you're not gonna make it. So you just gotta go for it, you know? That's exactly Even it. if you're shit scared, you just fucking gotta go for it. Because if you hesitate and become a fence sitter, <laughs> you ain't gonna get anywhere. And you're just gonna sit there like, oh fuck. How I'm scared now. Inspirational quotes from Tom. His <laughs> <laughs> near death experience. In the trees. <laughs> Jesus. You just have to say it out loud. It's like, ah, oh, just go for it. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> Don't think about it, mate. Do you want some of this? Or? Oh. These trees are stronger than you think. Yeah, trees are stronger than you think. Um, I had the most, yeah, amazing Changa experience just here. Uh, lying down, I was, I was surrendering. I was on half a tab of acid. And um, I was, it was exactly this time of day, pretty much. So I was just smoking the Changa and like slowly it was just coming on in a joint just like this one. And um, fuck, all these leaves, all the close ones started to become really far away and all the far away leaves started to come closer, like inverted. Depth, yeah. depth perception. Depth got um, inverted. Inverted, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The last, the last of the, uh, the stinging rog for the uh, story. Oh, says he's got the fucking stinging roger. It's a stinging roger, mate. What's a stinging roger? It's the last few tokes of the joint, mate. Don't you usually throw that bit out? No, 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 no. no it's the best fucking, fucking, the fucking best bit of the joint, mate. It's like the chocolate bit at the end of the cornetto. There was a joint just like this one. <laughs> so here I was. Scenario. Inhale. Exhale. The, the genuine method. And um. <laughs> so what I what I was starting to feeling, I was feeling really nice, and all these visuals, all these all these branches started to be like moving like snakes. How was the overall vibe? Was it like an unsettling, creepy vibe, or was it like a beautiful? Really, like I'm hugged by the tree. Nice, nice. And because I had it in my pocket, uh, the Changa skin and I, I was in my trip, and um, I said to myself, I'm not going to smoke it until I'm generally proper happy in a really good safe mood that's that's when I'll pull it out and I won't hesitate and just smoke it straight away and when I did I had like a a really nice violin tune off this song that I was listening to um, in my head just this one little bit I don't know what the notes were but they were just like it's just that one couple of seconds of the violin uh, in this like solo just like gets me all the time and it was replaying in my head and um, so when I Smoked it and I was looking down like this. The sun was exactly where it is now. So if you look at the sun, that was like looking through a massive portal, like a tunnel through all these trees. And the sun was just like the window into the into the world of like full on bliss and light where I've been before. And um, this was like, I was in the tree with like one half of me in the light, just like being in the sun basically. And half of me still connected to this world. Yeah. And um, I was just like connected to it like that 
and I felt my face, like physically, I felt my face like die, just go. <laughs> All my muscles just. And this is what happened. Exact same setting where I am right now. This is where I was. I'm probably just down there a bit more co cozier. But um, I remember I almost passed out from it because it was really strong. But some, this energy, this um, the source energy held me up. So I was like, and wanted me to see more of the trip and to go through the whole thing. So I was like, just about to pass out, looking at the sun like that. Then I went, oh, then I felt this energy go, and just like magnetically just grab my head and just like keep looking at it. You need to be, you need to see this. And then what I saw was the light just becoming just so like, like source, like God or something like that. Like whatever yeah. you want to interpret that as, just just the all loving like the highest, whatever you want to call it, the light, the love, whatever, the source of it all, um, pretty much reaching out and saying like, you are connected. I'm like, oh, how, how do I stay connected? It's like, you are connected. You're connected by strings. And this is all what I was interpreting, like, um, it's a genderless, like, no, 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 um, like, voice or anything. It's a genderless energy that, like, you just instantly have the transmission in your English to know what it said but it's like really clear when it does and it said you are connected by strings and I was like oh that must be a metaphor for music because I play guitar and that's where all my music I believe comes from from like my first experience from being connected to that world and I was like okay and then I started to see four strings poke out of me and stretch to the light like full on just four strings and stretch and I was like oh there's the strings that are connected to me metaphorically and then I was like <clears throat> wait four strings and <clears throat> the violin song that I had playing in my head before I smoked it got louder and louder and turned into an orchestra and I'm hearing this like loud as fuck yeah. like so much music like proper hearing the music in this other dimension what it felt like anyway like like a full on orchestra what well, one single violin tune I was replaying turned into an orchestra and um, as that got louder and louder that's when I saw the four strings and it immediately clicked violin violins have four strings mm. so I was like fuck I, I want to learn the violin now and see see how that goes so after that trip I like just settled down I was just like happy I had teary eyes and stuff and just chilling in here going fuck yeah smoke me dude to leaven me out and fucking <laughs> continue climbing but um don't smoke changer in trees kids <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but make sure yeah yeah don't do what i do like I, i'm sure i'm i'm nice and safe in here i made sure i wasn't gonna yeah. fall and i was like weaved in. i don't give a shit this for <laughs> yeah, for the, for the yeah. video but, um <laughs> two, two days later I bought a violin really yeah it's like fuck it i'm getting a violin that's awesome i almost bought a violin once yeah they're fun yeah. to play it's really hard to play but like i'm um, I think I can, uh, if I... Because, like, you play guitar, it, so it's, like... Not yeah. saying it's the same, but it's, like... It's a string instrument, yeah. so it's not going to... The, the, the learning curve isn't going to be as steep. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So that was story time instead of... Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Good story. Let's call that the... Congratulations. Today, ...today's vlog. Oh, yeah. Jump from here to there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go first, Pa? <laughs> it's because, like, I'm a little bit high. <laughs> I mean, like, literally. <laughs> Move down and find your legs here. You can do that. Rotate. Grab on this one. Up oh. tight. You got this. You got this. That's the one. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. Yeah, that's a different way. Now your feet on that, on the top of that. Yeah. See? Done and dusted. People use different methods to get to the same place. You're right, this does teach you about life, huh? Exactly. <laughs> exactly, Tom. Exactly. Yeah. Very metaphorical. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah, yeah, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> we are still alive. <laughs> but, okay. Not out of the woods yet. All right. I think the less I think about it, the better. Yeah. Yeah. It's when you think about it, that's when you start shitting, shitting your pants a bit. Yeah.
Grab whatever and go with the. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because I had like moments of it. I just there. I'm like, yeah. I've got to do it. If yeah. I just keep thinking about it, yeah. I'm gonna psych myself out. Because the mind's good for fear. Like, because it tries to protect you and shit. Yeah, definitely. Take definitely. <laughs> like, uh, That's death if you go that way. Oh, better not go down that one. Death. <laughs> yeah, no. The mind can be very dramatic. <laughs> Because you have to trust. If you don't trust, you'll fall off balance. Yeah. Like, you know when you have nowhere to grab? And yeah. it's like you have to just go even, by your balance even and trust. Right now, if I like fall, none of this would catch me. It's just, it's just um, reassurance. Yeah, yeah. It helps. Where'd you get that name for that? I've never heard someone call a joint that before. A friend of mine, Katie, used to say it. Pocket rockets, where you blast off. Broccoli wand. A broccoli wand. <laughs> <laughs> heard that one recently. So. That's a good one. That was awesome, man. Really. That was like better than... This is the best form of meditation. Yeah, yeah. Just climbing. For sure. It. Yeah. Just, Forces um, you into the present moment. Yeah, that, that's how. That, that's what um, Eckhart Tolle was talking about. How why people get so addicted to like extreme sports is yeah. because it's like if you don't pay, if you stop paying attention for just one split second, you could literally die. Yeah. You know, like if you imagine if you're like in the middle of a motorcycle jump, yeah. or like I don't know, fucking riding a motorcycle, riding a motorcycle or climbing a mountain or something. Mm. It's like you're forced to pay attention. I've, I've seen that with Man. all your being. And this is like, it's not as extreme, but it's still like, if you stop paying attention and if you fall, you're gonna, at least, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an ordeal. It's like temple run or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like, um, that's how you like stay balanced as well. Like when you say balancing on like a pole or like a, a branch or just a straight line. Yeah. If you keep going forward, you will have momentum and balance. But yeah. if you like going slow and looking around, you'll like, yeah. fall over. It's like, um, <clears throat> In the metaphor also with a uh, motorcycle riding, like you gotta stay fast to keep that like nice and yeah. soft on the road. But if you go too slow, you like start wobbling. And if you don't have enough uh, force on the ground, you can fuck up. But um, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. It's like climbing through trees. Like you just um, surrender to that. Uh, so I kind of go with the the momentum. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <sighs> Connect your aura with the tree's aura. It's like, it's like uh, be magnetic. Become the tree. Yeah, yeah. Breathe. Because you it. are the tree. Oxygen. Well, it's old. It's your ancestors, literally, like on a DNA level. They made, be. yeah, exactly. Well, they made from the same stuff. Giver of life, giver of fruit. And we just don't think they're beings because they don't talk. But they, they have their different way of talking. Mm. They're, like, they're like big brain neurons. <laughs> yeah, man. Like the roots. <laughs> Another yeah. metaphor, it's like uh, Carl Jung said, like if you want to, like for a tree to reach up to heaven, its roots must first go towards hell. Like, you know what I mean? Because it the becomes, it grounds you, like, it, like uh, what do you call it? It kind of builds your character, you know? Like, it's like yeah. in life how you go through like shit and suffering yeah. and all these bad experiences, quote unquote bad experiences. Dark to appreciate the light. Yeah. That's but it but it grounds you. It shows you what's like what you should appreciate, and it shows you the contrast because we live in like this dualistic realm where you yeah. need to know both opposites to know yeah. what the other one is. Exactly right. It's like the law of polarity. You know, like hot and cold. Mm. There is no hot and cold because opposites are identical by nature, but different in degrees. So hot okay. and cold is just it's just heat energy and lack thereof. So cold is lack of heat energy, and then hot is just a lot more concentration of heat energy. But it's like the one thing crazy so good that's cool that I didn't know that um, what's his name Carl Young I heard Terence McKenna all his quotes yeah he's the great uh, Carl Young 
<laughs> First, you must eat the psilocybin, <laughs> and you see the machine elves, <laughs> and then you go to the <laughs> new <laughs> yeah, peculiar. peculiar. You don't, you go and you have, you have an experience of death <laughs> by astonishment. <laughs> <laughs> The time wave, still a sign. I've done it this time. Yeah, yeah. I've had those moments so many times. I'm like, oh fuck, I broke my head. I really done it this time. I'm not coming back from this one. <laughs> and then you come back and you're like, whew. Yeah. That was a close one. I fucking um. Yeah. Unrelated to D and T, I like uh, I fucking. I'm a first fucking. A whole experience like two weeks ago. Did you? Ketamine, yeah. It's like, oh, like just had a line of it. Like, why not? I had to give it a go. First time doing K? Oh, not my first time, but first time having a big bump of K. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> like, minutes later. I'll like, be right. Fuck, I can't open my eyes. <laughs> 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 my mate um, next to me, he's like been through it all before and he's just so chill. He's like, That's what they, um, that's what they call the uh, the K hole there, um, uh, Jared. Uh, you'll be there for, uh, I'd say, um, thirty minutes or forty minutes, uh, give or take, uh, depending on. And I'm while he's telling me this, I'm slowly just. <laughs> I love he's telling you like like he's like some professional doctor, like he, yeah, he knows yeah. about. It. He's like, oh, it's okay. So what you're experiencing right now, Jared, is uh, the K hole. Oh, 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 oh,